American prisons destroy people. They destroy those who live in them and those who live outside them. The poems in Gretchen Primack's visiting days raise the voices of those who live within them and American needs to hear these voices. These poems contemplate, weep, wonder, and command. These poems bear names like Ismael, Jacob, and Denise. They raise up from places like East Wing, the box, and the yard. Most importantly, these poems ring with empathy, urging us to see these people as people. Where prisons destroy, these poems ignite the fire that poetry tends, the burn that makes us human. Joseph Ross. Ben. I had enough taken from me, but I have this charcoal and these pencils, now contraband, but for me grandfathered, heirlooms. My delight on paper. My arm is state green, but at the end of it is a moving hand, and it colors, making a hand the color of my hand. Escher loved ordering non-Euclidean geometries, regular and irregular divisions of the plane, the nature of space. I love ordering non-Euclidean geometries, tessellations, the nature of space. My arm is dressed in state greens, but my hand is dressed in charcoal and pencil, and I can move my wrist and pencil any ways I please and make my order. Even the cop at his desk is mine to order. A shape on a sketch pad, three lines, a flick, shading. This morning he fastened a blue shirt over his hollow chest. He buttoned his white buttons one by one. Now on my pad, he is a man whose hollow chest is cut open for all to see.